When you think about it, this little tank game, World of Tanks Blitz, is actually not that straightforward. But it should be. And the reason why a lot of people find it tricky and can't get their win rates up is because they make some fundamental problems for themselves. And, you know, I could sit here and go into all those problems, but I'm going to pick on three of the main ones. And those are patience, positioning, and knowing your tank. If you can master those three, your ability to win games will improve. I'm not saying you'll win the games, but your ability to win the games will improve. So let's look at a few simple techniques that will hopefully increase your chances of winning. Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz and today we're going to look at a sort of tutorial video and I'm only going to focus on three elements that you need to get your head around. The first one is going to be patience, the second one is going to be positioning and the third one is going to be knowing your tank. Now if you can get to a level where those things become ingrained then realistically your chances of winning will improve. What will certainly improve is the way you play the game. So this is me rolling out in a WZ-121, a nice little Chinese medium, which is similar to the Object 140 T62A. Now the thing about this little tank is this. It's got not a bad view range at over 300 meters. So knowing that there are tanks over there, my view range will allow me to spot them. And as you've seen, I've already done, well, I've done no damage. But, with my assistance, there's been over a thousand damage caused. Now, the, the team hasn't gone this way, the enemy team. But I didn't know that. And even if they had gone this way, I was in a position whereby they really couldn't hurt me, and I had tanks behind me in support, because I can see that on the minimap. You can see that they've all gone into the city. Now, I could, if I really wanted to, go hurtling down there headlong, into all of them and get smacked. I could do that. It will serve me no purpose. It will serve my team no purpose. And as you can see, we're already smacking tanks on the enemy team. And I'm sat here quite a fair way back from the enemy, just biding my time and taking shots when I can and causing damage if I can, where I can. Now, I haven't caused any damage yet. Well, I have now, of course, 444 damage. And this is the thing that people tend to sort of forget in Blitz. It's not a game just about doing lots and lots of damage. And I know my tank, and I know my tank has got relatively weak hull armor. I know it's got a relatively good gun, and I know it's relatively mobile. So, I need to save my tank until it becomes necessary to use the tank. And I need to use the parameters of the tank, i.e. the spotting, the mobility, and its gun. Hence the reason why I'm sat quite a long way back, farming a little bit of damage, I admit not much, and doing some spotting. But look at this gun. Boom. Now, I know there's only three tanks left. I know all three are in the city. So, I know at least one of them is on the left. So I'm going to push down the right, because I don't know where the other one is. Now we've got four tanks. We're up on points, yes, but that's not the point here. So I'm going to roll around this corner, and oh, hello, there's a T-57 Heavy. Now I've got all my hit points. I know he's not going to one-clip me, unless he gets lucky and gets an ammo rack. But I know I'm going to be able to take him out, which I do. And we win the game. Okay, I did 1,799, 96 damage. But I got a third class. I did my job and we won the game. I took six shots, only five actually hit. I spotted two enemies and I did my job. This is me rolling out again in an IS-4. And we're going to do a similar thing. And this is what I mean about positioning, patience and knowing your tank. Now I know the IS-4 is a heavy. And I also know the IS-4 
is got trolley armor. I also know it's got a long reload, and I also know it sometimes struggles to pen, but not a lot. And when it does connect, it's going to do a lot of damage. So I see players now in a position that I'm in thinking, oh, there's the enemy, I'm in a heavy, let's rush them. Well, that's just going to result in you going back to the garage a lot quicker than your enemy. As George Patton once said, nobody ever won a war by dying for his country. You win wars by making the other poor sod die for his. And that works in blitz. You don't win games by dying for your team. You win games by making the other poor sod die for his team. And how would you do that? Well, you do that by making sure that they make the mistakes, not you. Now, as you can see there, we've lost our 183. He was alone. He was all alone. He was out of position. He had no support. And you can see on the minimap where all our teams, are, all the rest of my team is. So he had no reason to be where he was, to be perfectly frank. That's bad positioning. He has got a big gun with a massive reload and no armor. He should have been looking at the minimap and seeing that the tanks were spotted, knowing they were coming down that channel. And he should have moved. Now we are one tank down a piece. And I haven't pushed yet, but now I see the Yeagaru is going to push. So I'm going to help him push. And there's an IS-7. So I'm going to help him push on this IS-7. I know this IS-7 is purely out of position. I know that. I saw an IS-4 earlier and a Yeagaru. And I can see on the minimap that they're the other side of this temple. This IS-7 is therefore completely isolated. Myself in the Jaegeru should be able to take him out pretty easily. I'm going to try and track him, which I do. This gives the Jaegeru time to try and get something into him. I'm going to stop him from escaping, which I do. I'm going to pull back. I'm going to be loaded, and we're both loaded, and we take him out. We have both lost two tanks now. I am really healthy, and so is the Jaegeru. And I can see that the rest of my team are whittling down the enemy over there. And I know they are all over there. I know there's a T-57 heavy round here somewhere. So I'm not going to rush. I'm going to be tentative. I'm very tentative here. Because he's here somewhere. So I'm going to push out a little. There he is. So I'm going to smack him. He's going to bounce me. He's now a one shot. I'm not. He's not going to be able to clip me. But I do make a slight error here. I know there's a Jaegeru, but I think the Jaegeru is further down. He's not. He's there. So the Jaegeru, I'm going to smack him a little bit. I'm now down to 1200. This allows the T57 Heavy, however, to outclip me. But look at my reload. I'm going to reload before he can load his entire clip. I take him out. Now we've turned it around. There's only one tank left on the other team. This is what I mean about positioning, patience, and knowing your tank. Okay, I only did 3,700 and odd damage. I took nine shots, all nine hit. Time and patience is the key in this game. Only fools rush in. If you assess the battlefield, and don't be bullied by people telling you to push. Don't be bullied by people saying that you're a coward or whatever, because they're just muppets. It doesn't work. This is the last game. This is my friend um, Caraloy 69 Blitz of the clan Zenith. A good clan and a good player. Now, he's an Elio 1. And since the introduction of rockets, the Elio 1 is a tricky tank to derive because it has no armor. But this is the thing. He knows his tank. He knows he has no armor. He also knows he has good mobility. And he also knows he has a good gun. So this is a game that's going to be not the same as, but in, in, in context, similar to what we saw with the WZ-121. Watch. He knows that there's no point in being there. So he's going to reposition. And this is the key in Blitz. Now, I would see players in a Leo 1 just go rushing headlong to try and get shots into those tanks in front. And that is just going to end in disaster. And the result would have been going back to the garage. Now, you've got a T-62 here. Again, he's out of position. He's isolated. 
And you can see that, firstly, Caroloy 69 is going to go for him, and so some other members of his team, like the WZ113. That T62 is going to get wrecked. He pushed too soon, he's out of position. Okay, he may have spotted, but there was no reason for him to be where he is, isolated and alone. He's now gone, and he's isolated and alone in the garage. This is how you should be approaching the game. Don't be so eager to die, guys. You have seven minutes on the clock for a reason. Number one. Number two, you really do need to know your tanks. Every tank has a set of parameters. The Leo 1, for example, has an insanely accurate gun. A really nice reload, fast mobility, and no armor. Why? Well, it's meant to be a pain in the backside, just like Caroloy 69 Blitz is playing the tank here. There's no point him hanging around, so he's repositioning all the time. He's hardly stopped. He's stopped a couple of times to fire, and that's about it. Aside from that, he's going to use this accurate gun to massive effect and he's going to use the tank for what it's designed to do and he's going to take his time he's in no rush why would he be in a rush he's got seven minutes to play this game not seven seconds and it seems nowadays that players want the game over sooner rather than later you're never going to win the battle in the first 30 seconds guys and if you're struggling to get past that 40 something win rate and this is the reason you need to slow down now they've turned it around there's only two enemy tanks left he's done 3.4 K damage okay he's got 425 hit points left but he's done his job he's done his job he's spotted he's moved he's maneuvered he's repositioned he's put damage down he's taken tanks out eventually and it's not always about this big damage. It really, really isn't. It's about knowing where you need to be on the battlefield, what role your tank is expected to play on the battlefield, and just calming it down and using the seven minutes allotted to you. And I'll guarantee you this. You watch any of the Super Unicums play, none of them rush, none of them. None of them do what you call yolowing, unless, of course, they're playing fools or having just a laugh that day they all know where to be they all take their time and they all know how their tanks work anyway i've been fujit i'm going to give you some flying tanks yay if you take anything away from this video take just one thing first patience is a virtue don't rush in as i said only fools rush in and as Patton said, you don't win wars for dying for your country. You win wars by making the other fella die for his. Anyway, if you've got any decent replays, wing them across to me, fujitsblitz at gmail.com. Comment, like, and everything below. If you haven't yet, press subscribe. Beautiful thing to do, costs you nothing. I'd like to give a big shout out to all my patrons who, without their support, videos like this would not be possible. I'd like to thank uh, Carol Roy 69 of Blitz um, of the Clan Zenith for kindly sharing his replay and we're hopefully going to work on some projects together going forward to impart some knowledge out to the community. So until the next time in the current state of the situation, stay safe out there guys, have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because that is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.